In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can work in symmetry mode using Adobe Illustrator. And the example we'll be using here is this sword icon, which we will draw by drawing half of it and then having the other half reflected on the other side. So I'll open up a new document and get started. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and click and drag to draw a rectangle. And I'm going to fill this in with black and remove the stroke. So what we'll do now is we will create a group from this object. Even though it's just a single object, we're going to group it and then we're gonna apply the effect to the group rather than the individual object. So come up here to where it says object and go to group. And now we're gonna to go to effect, distort and transform, and we're going to choose transform. What we're paying attention to in this menu is where it says reflect X and reflect Y. If you want to mirror your drawing on the left and right hand side, choose the X axis. If you want to mirror it on the top and bottom, choose the Y axis. So for this example, we're going to use the X axis and I'm going to choose to put the copy on the right hand side over here and I want to make sure I have one copy and then I will click OK. So now we have another copy mirrored on the other side and anything I do to this copy will also happen to this copy. So let me show you what I mean here. I'm going to grab the anchor points tool and I'm going to take this anchor point right here and I'm just going to bring this in like that. I'm holding shift while I do this to lock it onto the horizontal axis. And then I will take this node over here and I'll move this down like that. And now we have the top of the sword shape. So if you want to add more objects to this group, and this is why we created a group here instead of applying it to the individual object, because now we can apply additional objects to our drawing here. So the way to do that, come over here to the layers menu. If you don't have a layers menu, come up here to where it says window and look for layers. And within that menu, let's expand layer one, select the group by clicking on it, and then click on the menu icon over here and go down to where it says enter isolation mode. And you'll know you're in isolation mode when you see this little status indicator up here towards the top left of your screen. Now we can go and add additional shapes to our drawing here. So let me grab the rectangle tool and continue drawing my sword. If you notice, as I draw that, it's placing it on the other side like that. I'll take this little knot right here and make this rounded. So we end up with something like that. And then I will create the handle of the sword the same way. I'll just click and drag to draw a rectangle like that. I'll take the anchor points tool, take this anchor point, move that in like that. Maybe even take the two of these and move these down. And I'll put a little half circle on the bottom here. So let me grab my circle tool, click and drag to create a circle. Grab the, the anchor points tool, select that anchor point and press delete to get rid of it. And now I can place this over here on the side like that. And I'll make this a little bigger. There we go. And there we go. We have just drawn this icon by using symmetry mode. Now, if we want to exit, if you want to continue on working once you're finished, you can exit isolation mode by clicking this little arrow icon up here. You'll have to click this twice. Click it once to get out of the group and then again to get out of the layer. And now we are out of isolation mode. Now, when you're out of isolation mode, everything that you've drawn will work as a unit. You won't be able to click the individual objects. If you want to go back to editing your objects, you have to go back into isolation mode. So just select the group and use the menu icon again. And once you're happy with everything and you want to finalize everything and convert the other side to a workable path, all you have to do is select it and go to Object and select a pa Expand Appearance. And now you have two separate objects here. Uh, in fact, you can ungroup these. You'll have to ungroup them twice. So go to Object, Ungroup, and then Object, Ungroup. And there you go. Now you have these individual parts to work with. So that is how you can work in symmetry mode using Adobe Illustrator. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Illustrator Explainer series. It's a collection of over a hundred videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Adobe Illustrator, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.